Although I've been blessed to still be able to work during this COVID-19 situation, when I'm home and I'm not working, I still sit around and scroll through Facebook and Instagram, and I'll be honest, sometimes it gets a little depressing. I decided to take another sporadic camping trip tonight just to get away, clear my head, turn off my phone, get away from the news of the virus and all of the hard things that everyone's going to and just enjoy, enjoy nature a little bit. So that's what we're doing tonight. Also, I want you guys to come along and hang out with me tonight on this camping trip. We're just gonna relax, cook, eat some food, cook some food, eat some food, maybe play some games, look at the views around us, build a campfire, and just hang out. And hopefully this video will inspire you to get off your butt, get off the couch if you can and it's legal in your area, and get out and enjoy nature. Go for a walk, go for a hike, go for a camping trip if you can. You can social distance. We're clearly more than six feet away from everyone around us. Everyone's doing their own thing. A lot of people actually out here camping probably for the same reasons that we are. And it's a good time to just relax. Turn off your phone, turn off the news. I think we're getting our checks. Don't worry about that anymore. We're all gonna be okay. It's time to just chill. She's been working at this fire for quite some time now. Slowly but surely. And it doesn't seem to be cooperating. And Mel is the fire master, so. Yep. I think this is hurting her ego a little bit. A little bit. I don't understand why it's been. I wonder if the... What? We finally got a fire going. Actually, not we. Hey. Mel, the fire champion, got the fire going. Great job. Now we can get warm because it was getting kind of chilly there. When you don't feel like cooking, because it's a last minute, spontaneous, I said sporadic earlier, spontaneous camping trip, you stop and get pizza on the way. So what's for dinner, you might ask? Cold pizza. Let's see what's in here. <sighs> Tonight was fun. We planned to play games and hang out by the campfire, but the campfire kind of sucked took forever. Actually it never got going well honestly. It was small and it's an insignificant the whole night. So we didn't play any games. Mel fought with the campfire, tried to help her. We ate our cold pizza and now we just got in the tents and I'm using a makeshift camera hack with my headlamp tied around the top of my camera to give light to me. Um, so yeah, that's how today was. It's going to get down to 46 tonight. Our sleeping bags, we don't have backpacking ones yet, so they're 50 degree sleeping bags. But we have some Eddie Bauer down blankets stuffed inside of our sleeping bag. So actually right now I'm really warm. Hopefully that stays the case, but we'll know at 2 o'clock in the morning when we get down to 46 degrees. Other than that, it was a blast. This campground, um, we're at Fall Creek Falls State Park campground and it's well maintained. The restrooms are heated with nice showers, nice bathrooms, flush toilets, super, super clean. So I guess you could say we're glamping right now, but it's much better than being stuck at home stressing over the coronavirus. So I highly recommend getting out and camping. Get out of your house, take the family camping. We're nowhere, there's other campers here, but we're way away from other people. It's safe, we're social distancing and still enjoying nature and the beautiful stars in the sky and our tent site is not too far from a creek so we can hear the water running and it's super relaxing. So with that, I'm gonna say good night and we'll see you tomorrow for a day of hiking and chasing waterfalls. Good morning everyone from an amazing and relaxing campground. So we camped here last night and then look who joined us this morning. <laughs> Savannah. Savanita. I will link her channel below. So if you're not following her, she's an amazing bluegrass singer. So make sure you follow her. And you guys know Mel. Oh, why are you like, come forward. It's kind of back oh, there. Kind of back, back there in the back. dark. <laughs> I will link her channel below as well so you can follow her. She has a pretty cool channel that's just getting started. Anyways, 
It's hiking time and we are hiking down. We're gonna start at the top. We're at Fall Creek Falls State Park and we're gonna start at the top uh, of Fall Creek Falls and then hike down to the bottom. It so seems like there's a lot of water, so I haven't actually hiked. I know in the last vlog I went to the top only, but today I have my backpack, I'm all ready to go, and we are going to the bottom. I don't know how long of a hike it is, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me, so let's enjoy this. So in a total mood ruiner, I don't know if you guys can see, no you can't, Mel's in front of it, but the sign back there, the trail to the bottom of Fall Creek Falls is closed. So I'm assuming there's a lot of water because it just rained a lot, that's probably why. So we won't be walking to the bottom of this one today, but hopefully we can some of the other ones, we'll see. So we're all a little bummed that we don't get to hike to the bottom of the falls. But now we're gonna hike to the nature center where there's two more waterfalls and it's as you can see 0 0.9 miles so it's not very far. Hopefully we can hike to the bottom of the two waterfalls that are over here. You guys have seen them before in my last vlog but hopefully we get to see them from a different angle today. This trail is very rocky. sunshiny day today it's been like in the 70s with clear skies and it's been raining a lot and we just found out um, last night that they're going to be actually closing this state park tomorrow so we actually came on the perfect day so this is the last day of hiking that being said the trails are pretty crowded I think people are out here taking advantage of hiking here while we still can
The bugs are so bad out here today. I didn't put on my bug spray, but it's probably why. But Mel and Savannah did, and they're still dying from the bugs. They keep flying at my mouth and my eyes. I think they want me to eat them, and I'm not going to be doing that. So we walked almost a mile all the way over here to the nature center. Speaking of trail closures, here we are. We can't even get to the nature center from here. Now we have to walk almost a mile back to Fall Creek Falls, get in our car, and drive to the nature center. So that's fun. These trail closures are not making me happy today. We finished the hike back. The route we took was much shorter than the run going there, so it seemed a lot quicker. Let me fix the sliding, how it's gonna fix itself under the tree. And now I think it's time for lunch. We brought hot dogs to grill, which is my It's always our time favorite. for lunch in Ashley's Viking. Our favorite, <laughs> it is always time for lunch and snacks. <laughs> so we're gonna go find a spot that has a grill and a picnic table in the shade, because it's a little toasty and some water and then we are going to hang out and eat it's lunch time we're at George Hole I made a mac and cheese cup muscle mac muscle mac it's a little watery as you can see but it's mac and cheese and it's at a campsite so I can't really complain and we made hot dogs Got a couple wieners here, some buns, some roast toasted buns, and I put a little mustard. Lunch with the view. Hi. <laughs> what, what are you eating, Savannah? I made homemade PB and J. Do you, why not? Do you not like hot dogs? I don't like hot dogs. No. Because they're all kinds of weird meat. <laughs> so Mel and I, when we're in when we're in nature, we always uh, make hot dogs, like camping or whatever, camping outdoors, and Savannah hates them. So I told her to pack a picnic mm -hmm. lunch because we're having hot dogs. Mm -hmm. How's your hot dog? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Oh. I'm, I never eat these kind of chips, but I got some today. Llamas. Yep. And Mel's mac and cheese cup. It's almost sunset time and we came to the lake, which I showed you guys in my last vlog. But there's people out here fishing and the sun is going down. It's kind of bright to look directly into it. But hopefully we can uh, watch the sunset here and then we'll be heading back home to Chattanooga. Are you ready to go home, Mel? Uh, a little bit. She's a little bit ready to go home. I miss our campsite and want to stay camping, but they're closing the park tomorrow, so we can't. So for the past two days, I've had fun in my form of social distancing here at Fall Creek Falls State Park. I've camped, made coffee at the campsite, hiked, um, hiked to closed trails, chased waterfalls, took a lot of photos, saw a lot of beautiful sights, and got to hang out with some of my favorite people. Okay, Mel and Savannah, we're coming to the end of our adventure here. It's both of y'all's first time at Fall Creek Falls State Park. Mel, what'd you think about it? It was great. Camping was great. The weather was great. The waterfalls were amazing. And ending it here at the lake is a great way. I'll definitely be back. What was your favorite part of the whole journey? Camping. Because I love sleeping in a tent in With the wilderness. Me. Well, not that part, but just sleeping in a tent I in smell the wilderness. Good. And <laughs> being able to... Um, go to sleep with a bonfire and wake up and build another one. If and the wood cooperates, of course. Fight with the wet wood all night. Yep. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Mel. Oh, you're welcome. Savannah, <laughs> you hung out with us today. You didn't camp with us. This is your first time at Fall Creek Falls yeah, State Park. I fed up with both of you. What did you think of it? I thought it was incredible. There's just so much beauty and 
things to see. I thought it was pretty kind to the, the novice hiker. Um, we did see quite a few families out today and my favorite part was probably just um, being able to see all the falls and so much water in them right now. I mean, it's been a really rainy season, so it did not disappoint. So definitely would recommend it. It's um, a bucket list item for sure. Checked off. Yep, well, checked off now. This is true. I know. On, so, to, on so to the next adventure. Savannah still lives in California, and we just moved here from California a couple, few months ago. And waterfalls still intrigue all of us because you don't see that much in California because they're in a drought. Right. So, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Where do you, where's our next adventure? We don't know. Home, home to self quarantine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Social distancing. All right, thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully you covered it. Probably not.